You hear that? There's nothing here. We are at Charmley Park in Malibu, which is off of Encinal. We haven't been up here since our son was five. Long time ago. You know, there's a, a variety of places that we can hike. I, I haven't been up here for so long, so I don't, I don't really know where we can go. Uh, which way do you want to go? Well, there's only one way. We can go that way. We can go down there. Uh, that's not a trail. We can go back into the parking lot and get in the car and go home. I'm following the bus. There's nothing better than hiking in the middle of the week. Even though technically this is a Friday. So just forget I said that. There's nobody here. There was a few cars in the parking lot. On this little secret path that we're gonna take. Huh? Yep. Straight through there. Oh. This used to be a house here. place that you know although we've lived here for 30 years we have never been to this part it just goes on and on this was all a ranch owned by the person that owned Charmley Park back in the day probably a cattle ranch back in the turn of the last century That was good, man. This is the reservoir that was used for the uh, for the ranch a long time ago.
as with most hikes, we were just out at the point, got some great shots of the view, but we met a young lady named Heather. Heather, if you watch this, it was good to meet you. It was. That was really fun. I'm glad you didn't show up about uh, two minutes early because I had to take a pee out there. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> This is Heather, walking away down there. What's up, Heather? You're doing a great job. <laughs> there she saw. <laughs> that was awesome. It was good. I'm gonna tell you what we did. Grand total. Here it comes. Right. 24 floors. 5,798 feet, 2.3 miles. 2.3, not too bad. We're not at the parking lot yet, so it might be like 2.3.2. It could be making burgers tonight. Awesome. Nice Porsche. Another nice Porsche. Another incredible hike, another incredible one. I, you know, Kathy is addicted to doing these things now, so much so that she's like a little kid that every time we wake up, she says, are we going on a hike today? I do what I can to listen to her. I even put on my big ear, but sometimes she chews me out. Cool, huh? I found that. I went on a hike and I found this big ear. What's, you never know what you're gonna find when you go hiking. What, what? It comes down to choice, people. It comes down to choice as you do things throughout the day, as you decide what you want to be. Do you want to be a, a victim and do, do what other people think you should do and, and, and have them control you? Or do you want to do what you want to do? It's your choice. You have to, you have to decide. You can't just, just decide based on how everyone else is going to think of you. You know, if you want to have a piece of chocolate, well, have a piece of chocolate. You have to give coolness into the world. That's the bottom line. You have to give coolness into the world. When you give crap into the world, you get crap back. But when you give coolness, then cool things happen. Things like this, right there. And also, you get people that, that want to, to be cool with you. That want to, you know, send you things and to, you know, get some stuff that's happening. Stuff that's, I, I can't really go into what it is going on right now, regard to cars and things like that, but there's something going on. Until I can actually discuss that, I can mention, uh, here's, here's a, Here's somebody that sent me something really interesting. This is Brian Nash. He sent me this new kid's book right here. Nikki is stands out. This is actually a really cute little book. He sent me, you know, all this stuff. It's like I got stickers and, and all kinds of uh, different things about this book. This book, Nikki is stands out. It's available on Amazon, different places. Uh, Tuner's Care. Tuner's T-U-N-E-R-S care.com. Check it out right there. Kids books are awesome, but not only are kids books awesome, automotive kids books are awesome. That's neat. This one is, is really cool and the illustrations are cool. It's it's done graphically like um, you know computer computer graphics. But I'm all for projects like this. I'm all for creative projects that turn kids into car crazy people. Not that I'm that way. I'm not. Well, actually, I mean, who doesn't want to get a book that comes with a bunch of stickers? I mean, that's that's really, really awesome. So, Brian, great job on the book. Everybody check out this book. I'll put a link down in the show notes. Thumbs up for Nikki and Tuner's Care. Awesome. I'm going to enjoy looking through this, and then I'm going to give it to my, my niece, Alexa. I shouldn't have said that because she's watching this. Uh, Alexa, you got a book coming to you. And one last thing about this book. For every, every book that gets sold, uh, part of the proceeds from the book are donated to kids with blood-related disorders. That's a very, very cool thing. I wish that they would make a donation to people who have automotive disorders. 
like me. <laughs> oh, Palisadian Post came out right here. Palisadian Post, great newspaper. Oh, let me flip through this. I think there's something cool in there. Oh, check this out right there. This is my new article in um, that happens once a month in the Palisadian Post. You got, you got a question for me in the newspaper? I'll answer it. It doesn't have to be an automotive question. It can be a, it can be a question about chocolate. It doesn't matter to me. All right, awesome, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me. I enjoy talking to people that love cars, and that means you guys. Remember, it's a choice. It's a choice to be cool, and coolness is about giving. Coolness is about choosing what you love and following through with that, no matter what anyone says. So all the haters and doubters out there, get a job, buddy. We'll see you tomorrow.